Hello guys, welcome to Ahad Animates. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you seven things that you must know while using Blender. So yeah, let's get started. Number one, ANT landscape. So let's suppose you are creating a scene which contains a landscape, and you don't want to create it by yourself. So yeah, this tip will help you a lot. Just go to Edit, Preferences, go to Add-ons, and then search for Landscape. And then enable this add-on and then save preferences. Now close the preferences tab. Then if you press shift A and then you will go to mesh. Now you can see landscape is visible over here. Just click on it and now you can see you have a nice little mountain. But wait, there is more. If you go to this option and you can change between many, many, many mountains. And if you go over here, you can change it to abstract. You can change it to volcano, you can change it to lakes, anything you want, you can change it from here. Now you don't have to create your own landscapes. But wait, there is even more. You can even change settings of every single mountain. Like over here, I can change the height, I can change the offset, I can change the maximum and the minimum. And I can change the offset of the x-axis, y-axis, the size of x-axis, y-axis, and the destruction, depth, and many, many more. So yeah, I guess this tip will help you a lot. Now let's move on to number two, which is changing scenes. Now let's suppose you are creating an ad and it contains two or more than two shorts. So you will create each shot in a new project file or you will render each shot and then create another one. So this is wrong. So I will show you how to compile every shot in single timeline of Blender. So yeah, you just have to go over here, copy. So now I am copying a scene. Now you can see when I have clicked this option, you can see there are four more options. The first one is new. New means that I will copy this shot but in a brand new scene. Like if I click it, now you can see I have a blank scene. Now if I go over here, I can change between this shot, this scene and then this scene or shot. Scene and then scene one. Now if I want to copy it again, I will go over here. Now you can see the second option I have is copy settings now these objects will be not copied but the settings will be copied like if I just change this to 100 and I will copy settings now you can see I have a scene dot 002 and you can see the settings of that scene is copied to this scene and it's all happening in one single project file of blender so the third one is linked copy and the fourth one is full copy you can see I have this scene which contains a lake and settings so if I go and select full copy it will create a new scene and that scene will contain full copy of the first scene like you can see I can change between these scenes very easily now in the scene 2 I can create anything for example I have added a cube then I can switch to scene 1 then I can add anything or create anything make animation then I can go to scene 1 then scene 2 then scene 3 and then scene 4 so it's really easy and really helpful for your projects so the third one is rotating lights easily if I add a light in this scene now you can see I have to rotate it like this, then like this, like this and then I will press double R and now you can see sometimes the rotating of the light took a lot a lot of time. So I will show you a way which is very easy. Just select that light and then press shift T and now you can see the light is rotating and it is pointing to your cursor 
Now you can put your cursor on that object and the light will point to that object. So it is really easy. So just duplicate this, move it over here, then press shift T and then move the light over here, rotate. Now I will duplicate this, then press shift T and I will move it over here. So it's a really easy and very nice and helpful way to rotate your lights. Number four, changing the values of objects at the same time. For example, I am having three objects over here and each of it is having a bevel modifier and I want to change the amount of bevel modifier for every cube or every object if you have a big scene. So I want to change the value of the bevel modifier at once for all the objects. So I'm gonna select all the objects and then select this object at last. Now I'm gonna change the amount. Now you can see nothing is happening. But if I press Alt and then change the value, now you can see it is changing the value of all the objects that are being selected. Now I can change the value to 0.28 and then you can see every object is having that value and you can even change the segments. Just click Alt and now you can see every single object that you have selected is having the same segment and the amount. So it is really helpful. So yeah, let's move on. Number five, making a cloth easily. So I want to create curtains or a cloth. So I will go to simulation and I will click on cloth simulation. <laughs> Just kidding. I will not do any simulation. I will show you an easy way that how we can create cloths. Just click on the plane, go to edit mode, subdivide it a bunch of times like this right click subdivide now go to these settings and then change the fractional value and as you are moving it now you can see our vertices are destroyed i will change the value to three now you can see we have this janky little plane but if i shade smooth it and if i add a subdivision surface modifier to it then you will see it will be created in such a nice cloth now if i change the value to two now you can see this is very nice curtain and a piece of cloth now you can change the settings and you can even change the scale and stuff like that and i hope this tip helped you a lot because almost everyone struggles in making cloth so yeah, this was a fun tip. Now let's move on to number six, which is inserting faces individually. Now over here I have a cube and I want to insert every face individually. So how will I do it? I will press double I and now you can see every face is inserting individually. So I will just press double I. I will insert it like this. I can just press E and extrude it. Now I will select these faces and I can even insert it individually as well and it will create a really nice face like if I press double I now you can see every single face that I have selected is inserting individually now I can extrude it or I can do anything I want and now you can see I have a really nice shape so you can play with it and it's a lot of fun and it's really helpful. So yeah, let's go to number 7 which is proportional editing. Some of you are familiar with this. You just enable this and you can create hills or you can create anything you want with it. But there is more options in this. You can just go over here and you can change it to random. Now you can see I have this nice little effect. I can go to object mode then I can add a subdivision modifier now and now and now you can see it's a really nice shape I can change it over here or here and now you can see I have a really 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 nice shape I can change it to sphere and now you can see if I am move it up it is a really nice hill if I want to change it I can just click on sharp and it's a sharp over here it's really nice over here and it's 
hill over here so in, you can create anything you want with proportional editing and yeah so these were the seven things that you must know while using blender i hope these helped you a lot thank you so much i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye